you took, uh, you looked in the closet, and you never see anything there, right? That's correct. You saw these suspenders, or strike that, you saw these straps on the bed, and you never seized those, right? That's correct. You took a glove from upstairs and brought it all the way downstairs, and you didn't seize that either, right? That's correct. It was your testimony that you saw some socks that were out of place, and you instructed that be seized, right? That's correct. And it's your best testimony before this jury that, that those items were seized about 3.30 to 3.45 on June 13th? That general time frame, yes, sir. All right. Thank you very kindly, Your Honor. I have nothing further. Mr. Darden? Just a few questions, Your Honor. And we are talking about general time frames, aren't we, Detective? Yes, we are, sir. You weren't checking your watch to see when and uh, the exact time that Mazzola and Fung picked up an item, were you? No, sir, I was not. You didn't think that was necessary, did you? All world. All world. You didn't think that was necessary, did you? No, I did not, sir. I mean, they're the criminalists, right? That's correct. It's their job to pick up and collect the biological evidence, right? That's correct, yes, sir. Not your job, is it? No, sir, it's not. You don't know the, the exact sequence in which everything was collected, that's right? Oh, that's correct. As far as the socks are concerned, you weren't looking for blood on the socks, were you? No, sir, I was not. Okay. You didn't want to get too close to the socks, right? Oh, that's correct, sir. Now, you told Mr. Cochran that you looked underneath the bed, right? That's correct, yes, sir. Some time today. <laughs> some time this year, Your Honor. Can, uh, can we approach without the reporter for a moment? Do we have to? Uh, I would encourage you to. We don't have to. Let Thank me show you, you a photograph marked uh, 535 and 536. Yes, foundation first, please. Detective uh, Looper showing you 535. You recognize that as the uh, defendant's uh, bed, right? Yes, I do, sir. Is that your hand in the photograph? Yeah, it is. No. Okay. Sorry. That hand smaller in your hand? Yeah, it is. Okay. Now, let me show you 536. Yes, sir. Okay. You looked underneath the bed, right? Yes, sir, I did. And you recovered something, or rather, you saw something beneath the bed, right? That's right, I did. And the thing that you saw beneath the bed is depicted in these two photographs, isn't it? Yes, it is, sir. Now, do you see an object there uh, beneath the bed, Detective? Yes, I do, sir. That's the object that you saw, right? That's correct. I did see that. That object is a picture frame, isn't it? Yes, sir. And you pulled that picture frame out from beneath the bed and took a look at it? I did, yes, sir. And you had that photograph, didn't you? Uh, no, I did not have that photograph. Okay. But you now see a photograph of it? Yeah, I do see a photograph of it now, yes, sir. Okay. And, Detective, 
when you first saw this item, this picture and picture frame beneath the bed, that was before the defendant came back from Chicago, wasn't it? Yes, sir, it was. That was before he was allowed access to the house, wasn't it? Yes, sir, it was. And let me show you 535, 536. Is that the item, Detective? Is that what you found beneath the defendant's bed? Yes, sir, it is. You know whether or not that's a wedding picture? Okay. Oh, Move on. Detective, prior to leaving uh, the defendant's house, you straightened up some, didn't you? Yes, I did. You didn't want to leave his house in a mess, did you? That was part of it, yes, sir. Why not? Sustain. In any event, you did straighten up, right? Y yes, I did, sir. And by the way, the woman in the photograph, that's Nicole Brown, isn't it? Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, are you married? Yes, sir. And um, I presume that uh, years ago, before you got married, uh, you probably dated, did you not? Somewhat, yeah. And may I, may I proceed, Your Honor? May I proceed? May I proceed? You ever, if you had a picture of your of a girlfriend that you'd broken up with on your nightstand, and your other girl, your new girlfriend came around, would you move that other picture away and under I, your bed, perhaps? This, this is an interesting question. I don't think Detective Looper is the appropriate person to ask that Very question. Very well. Thank, Thank you very kindly, Your Honor. Excuse me. Okay. Thank you. All right, Detective Looper, thank you very much, sir. You're excused. Uh, I think Your Honor, that's uh, probably, the court is aware of our yes. next witnesses who they are. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as far as the jury is concerned, we will stand in recess. I've got some matters to take up with the attorney, so we're going to take our recess at this time. Please remember all my admonitions to you. Don't discuss the case amongst yourselves. Don't form any opinions.